Welcome back to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. At this point in time, I think we can donate our president to the USA. He can stay with uh, Joe Biden there. And he just rules and governs from Washington, D.C. or California or wherever it is. Uh, you've seen how the U.S. president was really praising our president there. I think William Ruto is, is really enjoying himself because when you are given powers by the international community and you support them, you listen to them, you do everything that they want and they also like you. I think he's really enjoying himself. The only time he realizes that this is not a walk in the park is when he comes back home and he realizes that uh, there are people from Eldoret writing to him that they were conned about the Canada sponsorship and then the cost of living is just too high but then when he's out there he's really he really feels good because they keep on heaping praises on him and someone was telling me as we were joking around that William Rudy should go to the Washington DC and he was asking me if he goes then we remain with Rigi G truthful man and he was saying that Afadali Ruto by the way between Rigi Gashago and William Ruto if you were to be given a choice Katia hawa wawili, uchagwe unataka kubaki na nani? <laughs> Whether you will remain with the truthful man or uh, William Ruto. But I'm here to tell you, as I've always opined, that we are being governed from the USA. The only sub-branch that we have in Kenya is the US Embassy, held there very tightly by Meg Whitman. By the way, you realize that... Uh, as William Ruto toured the, the, the USA and, and, and that he was meeting the, 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 the giants, tech CEOs of the technologies, he was there with Meg Whitman, who was really marketing Kenya. And they really, they really love it. The only thing that they don't care about is our plight. But as a result of the dalliance between USA and William Samoy Ruto, and in his penchant to do away with Uhuru appointees and Uhuru's projects, something has come up. Over 100 medical practitioners or medical doctors from Cuba that have been in Kenya for six years now have got their feet lang uh, hanging in limbo because the USA has always blacklisted the developing county, countries that benefit from medical import from Cuba. Ever since 1959, when Cuba gained independence and it was led there by Fidel Castro, they have invested heavily in, on, on medication and they, they, they really train medical practitioners. And if you look at the website, the, 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 the imp exporting their medical services and medical personnel to other countries has earned them or yearly earned them over 10 billion shillings. It is more than even the tourism sector and very many uh, countries benefit from them. But the United Nations, uh, the, the USA, sorry, has always labeled the countries that benefit from medical uh, personnel from Cuba as those who are aiding human trafficking. That is what the USA says. And sometimes they demand that uh, the doctors or medical practitioners must be paid directly. Because when Cuba signs a deal with uh, a country, there's part of the money that goes directly to the country and a part of it that is paid directly to the, to the medical practitioners. Like in Kenya, it is... Uh, not uh, it is a rumor it's something that uh, the, the the kenyan uh, nation continues to deny but it was said that uh, the government of cuba was being given uh, about 600,000 kenyan shillings and the medical practitioners here are given about 250 but with that pressure that the us president and the us government has always been against those who benefit from the medical personnel from Cuba. And with the friendship between William Ruto and uh, Joe Biden, it is said that uh, very soon, sooner than soonest, 
the 100 specialists from Cuba will be out of the country. Now the genesis of, of, of this relationship began in 2001-2002, no 2021-2022, when Kenya wanted a, 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 a seat in the United Nations Security Council non-permanent membership and during that moment the former president William Samuel Ruto started engaging other countries and the other Caribbean countries and that is where he went to who, uh, such countries like Cuba to support Kenya's bid to get a, a non-permanent seat, security seat, the United Nations Security Council seat as a non-permanent uh, member. And during their, their, their conversation, Cuba realized that uh, this was going to be a bilateral talk and they decided to form a bilateral relationship where Cuba was to export his medical, its medical or her medical personnel to Kenya. And that is something that Uhuru did. And uh, Uhuru brought in the 100 uh, doctors and they have continued to help Kenya in several areas, especially during the corona pandemic. But then, I think their time is up because Joe Biden is piling pressure. But William Ruto is really a very, very cunning politician there. Now, he's just realized that there are loopholes that he wants to exploit so that by the time he will be kicking them out, it will not be seen that it is pressure from the U.S. Like, uh, as we talk today, the National Assembly Committee on Health through their chairman stated that the time the, 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 the Cuban uh, doctors have overlived their mandate and they have to fly out. And sooner this is going to be taken to parliament to be voted and you know Ruto controls that parliament and they are going to vote that these people should go. Coupled with that, the local unions have always said that this was uh, a, this was a way to deny the Kenyan doctors a chance for employment. For example, they were saying that they we should have concentrated on employing Kenya other the, the, the Kenyan doctors first before we considered the Cuban doctors. But Uhuru Kenyatta argued that these were specialists in maybe the departments of neurology, nephrology, those specialists. And they were supposed to train over 50 Kenyan doctors on those special areas. But the Kenya Medical Practi uh, Practitioners and Des Dentist Union, through their Secretary General, said that this was a scam because he says that there isn't any doctor that has been trained. And with that, they feel that they should go. The other time, the, 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 the chairperson of the, the Council of Governors, Madam Anwaiguru, also supported this, saying that they should now go, they have overlived their mandate. Now, what makes it even more compelling is the kind of remuneration that they are given. Apart from the allegation that they are, that they are taking, that the Kenya the Kenyan government is paying over 800,000 shillings per medical practitioner because they are given about 200 and something and another 600 is going to their to the, to the country. They are also enjoying uh, a heavy medical cover, a comprehensive medical cover uh, under the N NHIF. And the, the, the county governments where they are placed and the national government is meeting their water, gas and electricity bill and they are also entitled to security and uh, medical air ticket for their holidays whenever they want to go back. And with all this, it is being said that uh, they are really taking quite, they are guzzling a lot of money compared to our uh, local practitioners. And so, ladies and gentlemen, with all these arguments, William Ruto has his way because he will have an argument that these people are never welcomed because the chairman of the Council of Governance have spoken about it. The local unions have said that they are denying us a chance. And so, sooner than soonest, you will see them going. And it will not be said that it is because of the pressure from the United States. People will mention the factors that I have given you. And William Ruto knows that these are the loopholes that he has to exploit. Just the same way, 
before he flew to the USA, he knew very well he was going to be under pressure to veto the LGBTQ same-sex marriage, the gay and lesbians. And he decided to talk to his very close sister, Madame Hot Air and Wild Goose Cheese, the president of the judiciary, Madame Martha Coleman. And they passed it with a lot of authority. So as William Ruto went to the USA, they would praise him as a very good president because he, he respects the rights of the gay. And at home, locally, he would not be at loggerheads with the church because Ruto, Ruto has always presented himself as a church man. They have always said that their victory was given to them by the Most High, God himself. Remember, our second lady, Madame Durkas, has a church. She's a reverend. And Ruto has a church. So we are led by people who theoretically are men of God. So Ruto knows how to do things without being blamed. And so ladies and gentlemen, when you see the Cuban doctors going, every Kenyan will support it because many people would want uh, these very little jobs for us. It will not be said that it is job in. Yet we all understand that U.S. does not support this and anyone who goes against it is always blacklisted. And so Kenya is soon kicking them out. And that is my take.